Welcome back. Today we'll be doing an overview of my Missouri Meerschaum corncob pipe collection. I'll be offering some insight and recommendations for anyone who is looking to purchase one for themselves. If you haven't already watched my top 10 pipe smoking tips for beginners video, I would suggest you do that first. All right, without further ado, let's get started. The first pipe is part of Missouri Meerschaum's Washington line, and it's the 5th Avenue style, which just means that the heel of the bowl has these beveled edges. Most of Missouri Meerschaum's pipes are offered with either straight or bent stems, and you can see this is the straight stem version. On most pipes, this is called a stem, but Missouri Meerschaum calls this a bit. And on this pipe, I've swapped out the original standard black plastic bit for one of the wider and more comfortable Danish style bits in the amber color. I think the plastic used in their amber bits is of higher quality, improves the look of the pipe cosmetically, and is a little more durable. This pipe accepts the standard 6mm filter, which is my preference, and I'll be talking about that a little bit later in the video. Economically, this pipe is an incredible bargain and can usually be picked up for between $7 and $10. This Washington 5th Avenue was actually my very first true tobacco pipe and therefore holds a lot of sentimentality for me. You can see the rim has a, a bit of charring on it. If I have friends join me who are learning to smoke a pipe, this is most often the one I'll give them to smoke. But even after all the wear and tear, it still smokes incredibly well. And I think that's the real beauty of cobs. For a very low price, you can get a pipe that's durable and smokes just about as well as anything out there. The next pipe is the Great Dane Spindle in the straight stem variation. It's sporting the original slim style bit in black plastic and does not accommodate a filter and is therefore the cob that I smoke the least frequently. It's still a wonderful pipe however with a very unique shape and a large bowl. Like most of Missouri Meerschaum's pipes it has a birch shank and if we look at the bottom you can see it has a yellow sticker. And that indicates that this pipe has a hardwood plug inserted at the bottom of the bowl and that prevents burnouts. The last pipe we looked at, the Washington 5th Avenue, had a red sticker on the bottom. And that simply indicates that this pipe does not have the hardwood plug and is therefore a bit more susceptible to burnouts over a long period of time. Now because the Great Dane spindle has the hardwood insert, an intricate bowl shape and larger size, it costs a little bit more and can generally be found for between $12 and $15. This pipe is the Country Gentleman and is likely the single most popular corn cob pipe available today. It's easy to see why. It has a gorgeous contrast stain, a large bowl size, hardwood plug, and can accommodate a filter. The coloration of the bowl and on the rims gives this pipe a rugged charm that can only be found on a cob. For many, a country gentleman is a must-own corn cob pipe. And if you were forced to choose just one to have in your collection, this would be a fantastic option. This pipe falls into that $12 to $15 price range but for a pipe that offers this much utility, paired with good looks, it's a bargain. The last pipe is the Diplomat in the apple shape with a bent stem. Of all the pipes in my collection, this one's my favorite. Like many of the offerings from Missouri Meerschaum, this one has a smooth finish and the bits of white you see on the bowl are a plaster compound. That's where the Meerschaum in Missouri Meerschaum comes from. Meerschaum is a white stone 
usually found around the Mediterranean Sea, that's used for making pipes. And when these corn cob pipes first entered production in the mid 1800s, it was said they resembled meerschaum. And the name Missouri meerschaum was born, even though they produce corn cob pipes. The shape of this pipe is comfortable for me, and I found a smooth, warm, buttery characteristic in the smoke when I'm enjoying my tobacco in this Diplomat Apple. A quick note about pipe filters. There's a lot of varying opinions out there on whether or not you should use a pipe filter, but ultimately it's up to you to decide. I prefer to use a filter because it reduces the amount of nicotine and tar, keeps the smoke cool, reduces moisture inside the pipe, and doesn't impede the taste of the tobacco. But if you choose not to use a filter, that's okay too. You can't go wrong either way. One pipe I'd like to add to my collection is the General. The General is a reproduction of the pipe smoked by U.S. Army General Douglas MacArthur. Not many folks have embodied the American swagger better than General MacArthur, and the corn cob pipe was an essential part of his look. If you'd like to purchase the General or any of the other corn cob pipes we've discussed in this video, be sure to check out Scott at Aristocob.com. Scott is the Oracle of Corn Cob Pipes, and he'll be able to help you out with anything you need. Another great resource is Eddie at ThePipeNook.com. He runs a really accessible online store that's tailor-made to the newer pipe smoker. So look him up and he can hook you up with anything you need as well. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit this little circle right here on the right hand side of your screen and subscribe to my channel and give the video a like. I'd really appreciate it. What's your favorite corn cob pipe? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks for joining me today everybody. We'll see you later.